Hello creative family and welcome to another video from She's So Crafty. Today I have this DIY chandelier that I made from mostly Dollar Tree products that I'd like to share. And going over the items we need, we need one wreath form from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna need some wire. You can also get this from the Dollar Tree from the hardware section. Very pliable and bendable, and we'll need uh, one roll to, for the assembly. We'll also need one roll of this metal ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby, 50% off. I believe it was about $3.99 on sale. This is the only item that I need that I didn't get from the Dollar Tree. We'll also need three of these vinyl bath mats from the Dollar Tree. And we'll be cutting these up into the strips to make the dangling crystal-like accents. We'll also need one box of the paper clips, the Jot paper clips. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our wreath and we're going to be cutting it apart. Each one of the rings will be cut apart. So if you have a pair of pliers or wire cutters, you will need those wire cutters to cut apart each ring of the wreath. Be careful not to split any of the rings. We just want to cut them into individual rings. Here's all my rings cut apart. And what we want to do is we want to try to figure out which rings we want to use for our chandelier. So our third ring we see is too tight, so we'll have to actually cut and resize this third ring because we want equal spacing between each of the rings. So here I am, I cut it. I'm kind of getting an eyeball for it, resizing it. And then I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree wire and I'm going to uh, cut a generous length, uh, seven inches or so. I'm going to overlap the, that ring I want to resize and I'm just going to begin wrapping that wire around that overlap really tightly around there. Now once that's all secure, if you would like to add some additional adhesion, you could use the Gorilla Glue or E6000 Super Glue, but I've wrapped it pretty tight, pretty confident that it'll stay. Um, give it a, a little tug, it seems to be pretty secure, so I'm not gonna add any additional adhesive to my ring. But I have all three rings now complete. So what I'm gonna do is take these rings outside and give them a quick spray with this Krylon uh, Brilliant Silver Spray Paint that I got from Walmart for about $3. While that's drying, we're gonna go ahead and get our mat cut into our strips. So we're gonna cut down vertically to get our strips. And I zoomed in really good here so you could see exactly how I'm cutting this. I'm just gonna cut it close to each one of the little circles. And as you see, there's one of the dangly strips that we'll be using. So we wanna cut up three mats total. 
So now we have all of our little strips with all the small circles on them. And we have all of these strips with the small and large circles on them. Now I have a self-healing mat. We'll be doing some small incisions into these acrylic or, or vinyl strips to be hanging. So um, I grabbed uh, a self-healing mat and I have an X-Acto knife that I'll be using to make the small poke into each one of the strips in order to feed the paper clips through. So what I'm gonna do is for that, the first circle in each strip, I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm just gonna press gently in the middle of that just to get a little, little tiny little hole there, just enough so we could get the tip of a paper clip to go through. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of our paper clips, we're gonna open up one end, and we're gonna feed that through the flat back side of your strip. You'll notice the top part is rounded, the back is flat. Well, we wanna feed that paper clip through the back. Once we feed that through, just give it a little tug, and it's nice and secure in there, and there you go. There is one of the strips that will be hanging from your chandelier. Now we're gonna repeat this process with the other strips that have the large and small circles. We're gonna flip it over to the back and take our X-Acto knife, make a small incision. And then we're gonna take our paper clip just like we did with the other strip and we're gonna feed it through the back. a little tub and there we go now we have one of those completed strips as well okay here we go we're all done we've got all of our strips with our paper clips on them with the small circles and then the large small circle strips so we have all those ready to go now uh, my rings are dry, so I brought them on in, laying them out. You see they have been painted the brilliant silver. Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna measure around the ring. And this is just to see what the, the, the uh, distance around the ring is so I can go ahead and measure out my metallic ribbon to see how long it needs to be to go all the way around. So I'm just gonna take that same measurement around my metallic ribbon. And I'm gonna cut it. You see it cuts with regular scissors, so we're good to go. Now note, I did cut it about an inch longer because the end of it, once you cut it, is pretty sharp. So I like to fold that under to prevent any cutting or any injury from working with this ribbon. It's very sharp. So I have a little piece of tape on this ring. This is just to mark my start and stop point. So now I'm going to fit the ribbon around it. So I'm going to use a glue gun just to kind of add a little bit to that ribbon and stick it to the edge of the ring just to hold it temporarily while I work with the ribbon. What I'm going to use to secure the ribbon to the ring is the wire. So I'm going to cut a piece three or four inches. And I'm going to start using the glue gun to adhere the remainder of that ribbon around the ring. Okay. 
kind of work. You see how I folded the edge of that ribbon at the, at the very end? And now I'm going to start securing that metal ribbon to the ring. So I'm going to put it in a T formation at first to secure all four corners with a few twists of the hand just to get it locked in. But we're going to end up securing this at eight points just to be sure that that metal ribbon is secure on that ring. Again, these little strips are maybe two or three inches. There's no need to get too long on that since we're just going to be wiring it through at those points. So what I'm gonna do is just take a pair of pliers and you wanna tighten that wire where you've wired it through. You wanna tighten that up by twisting it. And you wanna kinda get it twisted as tight as you can without it being slack, because you want that ribbon to be really secure to that ring. Now once you get it as tight as you want it, you can go ahead and cut it off. Cut the end off, and then just bend it inward and give it a nice good squeeze with those pliers to kind of lock that wire in place. So you see we've put the wires at the two opposite ends and then in an X formation. So it's at a T formation and an X formation. And this should keep your metallic ribbon really secure. We want to repeat this with all of our rings. And so we've done this with the first, second, and third rings. I've got this little piece of paper as a guide and I wrote three and a half inches on it because that is the distance that the wire needs to be between each hanging tier of our chandelier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut some generous length wires, eh, 10 inches or so, and I want to make sure that I have enough on each end to wrap around each ring multiple times allow that three and a half inches in the middle and wrap it around multiple times to the other tier. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of feeding it through, I'm feeding it through one of the tiers and I'm kind of just threading it through and pulling it through with the pliers to kind of make sure it's really tight. So I'm gonna wrap it around three or four times and making sure it's just really snug in there. And we want to leave enough dangling when we finish wrapping it around to allow that three and a half inches there and also allow some at the end to secure it to the other tier. So here it is. I have secured it uh, in a triangular formation. And I've done that with the smallest and the medium sized tiers only. The top tier won't need this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach that bottom tier to the middle tier. So I'm using my three and a half inch guide again here. And what I'm going to do is put a little piece of, of tape at the top of where that three and a half inches touches. And what that's going to do is make sure that when I wrap that wire around that middle tier, that is where the bend will be. So each one of the wires will be exactly three and a half inches. So here you see I'm bending them. I'm bending them just to make sure that when I feed it into there, it'll naturally bend where I need to start uh, winding that wire around there. So like I did when securing the metallic ribbon to the circular form, I'm just gonna go ahead and just do that again here. I'm just gonna feed that wire in and out, in and out and around several times just to make sure that it's nice and secure. And I'm going to do that with the bottom tier with all three of the legs. Now here you go. This is what it looks like when it's all secured. Okay, it's very centered and that's because we measure. We made sure each wire is the same length. Here's a close-up of how I wrapped it around. It does not have to be pretty. It just has to be secure. 
This really won't be noticeable once the chandelier is fully assembled. And the wire is very pliable, so if you need to adjust a little left, a little right, it's very, very forgiving. Now we're gonna take that assembled two-tier and attach it to the bottom of the large frame. So if you wanna get some ideas on how to attach it, and what kind of spacing I used, you just want to take the whole circumference of that circle and divide it by three, and then that's how far apart your wires need to be. So now you could do any kind of minor adjusting you need to do. I'm checking it out to make sure it's even. And then once it's even, that's when you really want to make sure all your wires are really secure, they're pinched into place, they're clipped off. Once it's acceptable, it's insecure, you are good to go. You are ready to start attaching your vinyl strands. Okay, so we have, there's holes already in this metallic ribbon. And we're going to start inserting our metallic strands in those little holes. We're gonna feed the paper clip through the little holes. And we're gonna, we're going to, um, every other hole, we're gonna put uh, the tiny ribbons and then the holes that remain, we'll put the large circle ribbons. Okay, so all, all the small circles are in. So now we're gonna start putting the large circle strands in, in between each, every other hole, each and every other hole. Now there's an option of hanging this, you can hang this while you do this, you could just attach it to a, 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 a three-tier uh, chain if you'd like. It's actually um, very easy to do that, very easy, easier to manipulate. So this is what it looks like when we've got all of our strands fed into our chandelier. Now this is the raw version, uncut. So now we want to go through with our scissors and we want to figure out how long we want our strands and cut them to any length you like. You can leave them random like this. You can cut them to where they look like uh, individual tiers, but I'm just gonna eyeball and kind of get an idea of how long I want each one to do. And this is it. This is what I've decided. I wanted uh, the three tiers and I've cut mine even for each one of the tiers. I'm pretty happy with it. And this is the chandelier installed over a current flush mount light fixture. I've attached it with those little white hooks. Those are just little plant hooks you could just screw into the ceiling. You can get them from any hardware store. But I'm very, very happy with it. You guys, I hope you have fun creating this. I sure did. If you have any questions, please let me know. This was so much fun to create. And for only about $8, you can have one too. So yes, have fun and stay creative. And thanks so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe.